Hey guys, a quick disclaimer. This video is not intended to pile onto Ezra Miller and just talk shit about him and other people. I'm not gonna say whether he should or shouldn't be fired because that's frankly not my decision. And it's not even the most important thing right now. This is a video about how incompetent WB is as a company. And the people and incidents I mention are just a byproduct of that. Stay until the end, you'll see. Enjoy! In 2008, Iron Man came out, giving birth to the MCU, a beloved franchise of movies that have grossed over $25 billion over the past 14 years. Now, like any other little kid that looks up to their older sibling, WB wanted to do the same thing. They said, ooh, look at all that money. Hey, me too, me too. But in their desperation, they turned to a man they didn't fully understand. They hired Zack fucking Snyder to be the architect of the DC Universe. And I could sit here and hammer down on how shit his universe is and how he butchered these characters and how bad I think his movies are, but I'm not gonna do that. My thoughts on Zack Snyder are well known and that won't get us anywhere. No, no, no. But let's just take a sec and go through this shit pile of a universe he created to look at the people he and WB recruited to be the faces of their franchise. And let's just all do a collective face palm. Ben Affleck, Batman, good actor, Seems like a good dude. But he was drunkenly inappropriate with multiple girls in multiple public interviews 19 years ago. Now, groping women without their consent isn't a great thing, but it was almost 20 years ago and he seems genuinely remorseful of it. Let's say we forgive him. But what I can't forgive is him maybe having knowledge of Harvey Weinstein's sexual misconduct and saying nothing about it for two decades. Before Weinstein ever even went to court, he had a secret red flag list of the people that could potentially expose his sexual abuse. And Ben Affleck's name was on that list. And even if that isn't proof that he knew about it, it's still suspect because Affleck was later quoted as saying, I knew he was sleazy and kind of a bully, but unfortunately that wasn't uncommon. So he worked with the man for almost two decades, had many movies produced by him, went to parties with him, had an idea that he was a sleazy bully, and was on Harvey's list of people who definitely knew, but I'm supposed to think nothing of it. Okay, then on top of that, shooting Justice League put him back in rehab for heavy alcohol abuse because the process was so unpleasant. Jason Momoa, Aquaman. He said some pretty controversial things in the past, but he's pretty much good. Henry Cavill, Superman, he's good. Ezra Miller, The Flash, good actor. Loved him in Perks of Being a Wallflower, but he maybe choked a woman to the ground, grabbed a microphone out of a person's hand, and lunged at another person in a bar out of a drunken fit of rage, then allegedly broke into the room of a couple he was staying with, stole some of their items and threatened to kill them, leading to a restraining order, and now he got drunk and threw a chair at another woman, busting her head open. Now, the choking incident is only so mysterious because WB never released a statement about it. They didn't say shit. We don't know if it was fake, if it was real, WB, Ezra's team, nobody mentioned it and they just let it slip under the rug and fade away. So because there is so little information, we are forced to speculate about what happened. And if you want to say it was fake and that he didn't really assault anyone at the bar and it really wasn't that bad, well now he verifiably assaulted someone and caused injuries. He's gone too far and I'll talk about his mental health in a second. But this is an indictment on WB because at the time of this recording it has been almost three days and they have yet to release a public statement about him. And this is the third time that Ezra has done something ridiculous like this and WB just keeps their mouth shut. You bet your ass if it was John Cena or Jesse Eisenberg that split a woman's head open they'd have something to say about it or action would have already been taken. But either Ezra has the best team in the world behind him that can convince WB of anything, or they don't say shit because he's in a protected class. They can't go after a bisexual non-binary person, can they? They just have to shut their lips and prove that they're inclusive. Even though they just censored lines of dialogue in the new Fantastic Beast movie for China to take out that the main characters were gay. 
fucking hypocritical scoundrels. And also, these companies claim to be so pro-woman and so anti-abuse, but he just attacked a woman, intentional or not, and there are no consequences. Motherfuckers. But so far, no apology for Miller and no accountability. Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman. Well, she definitely wasn't casted for her acting ability. And she maybe defended an ongoing potential genocide? I don't know, it's kinda fuzzy. Ray Fisher, Cyborg. Admittedly, one of the best parts of the Snyder Cut. But he went on a public crusade against WB, accusing execs, producers, and the director of Justice League of disgusting, racist, and abusive behaviors. He created a movement in which thousands of people have joined, and he continues to claim to have evidence that he never provides. He supported the investigation they did until it didn't go his way, and then the evidence he did bring to the table didn't prove a goddamn thing. If you heard from somebody else that they heard Jeff Johns say something racist in a meeting, that doesn't mean it happened. That is not evidence. And the detailed claims that he did bring up were petty at best. And he continues to fight a losing battle. Now, only two options are possible here. Either Ray Fisher is exaggerating about all this, he falsely tried to get people fired, and he's a race-baiting crybaby, or he's telling the truth, and WB did illegally cover up years of abuse and racist behavior. Both options ain't good. Either way, his motto is accountability over entertainment. But I don't ever see him holding his co-stars accountable. Hmm. Amber Heard. Mara shit actress in one of the worst parts of the Aquaman movie. Currently caught up in a heated public court trial because she might have repeatedly abused, lied about, gaslit, slandered, and physically assaulted her ex-husband. And the more details that come out and the longer this court case goes on, the more I believe Johnny Depp is innocent and she's a venomous rattlesnake. And her husband that she has clearly lied about on multiple occasions was swiftly fired by WB without any concrete evidence that he did anything wrong, simply to please the Me Too movement. And this woman is gonna get to continue headlining billion dollar movies for the company. All because she was the woman and he was the man in the relationship. Oh yeah, he was also fired from the same movie that Ezra Miller is starring in. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking shit show of a company. And now all of a sudden I'm supposed to believe they're going in the right direction? Fuck off. Now, this doesn't mean that Zack Snyder is a bad guy or that he willingly picked bad people to be in his movies. I just think he casted like shit. This past decade of DC has been an absolute shit show, rife with toxicity and controversy. And it starts and ends with WB. They hired Zack. They signed off on all the castings. They signed off on the universe. They kept their mouths quiet in certain situations. They fired people without good reason. They allowed certain fans to become toxic. They might be one of the most incompetently run movie studios I've ever seen other than Sony Pictures. They are hypocrites, morons, liars, and unfocused, money-hungry scumfuckers. They don't know how to run a cohesive universe. And they damn sure don't know how to properly cast one. Oh wait, maybe they do. Just stop letting Daddy Zack have an opinion and the castings have been pretty solid. All of the controversies are from the old guard. This shit show. Someone like Disney might be just as bad and just as immoral, but at least they know what the fuck they're doing. If you're gonna be a scumbag, at least consistently entertain me while I shove popcorn in my fat face. But to be completely serious, I'm not so sure if Ezra Miller should be crucified for this. He needs to be held accountable like everyone else. And he needs deep and personal help so that these things don't happen again, for sure. I myself suffer from severe mental health issues. So I understand what it's like to be in constant agony and wanting to explode sometimes. I know what it's like to make mistakes, to be irate, to be imperfect, to be human. I also lost someone really close to me four years ago and 
It affected my life for a long time. I wasn't the same person for about two years after it happened, and I don't think I'll ever recover from it. Ezra has apparently lost someone close in his life, and sometimes that can make someone do destructive things. So I do understand mental anguish and what it can make you do. I truly, truly understand it. And I hope he gets thorough help so that he can work through this trying time in his life. But we also have to have compassion for the woman that he pelted in the head with a chair. Why is everyone only talking about Ezra? Why are we only supposed to have compassion for him? Let's have some compassion for the person he assaulted. Damn, talk about privilege. You hit someone in the head with a chair, cutting their head open, and all people talk about is whether you're still gonna be in a movie or if you're gonna get the help that you need. Shit, what does that woman think? I hope she gets a juicy payout. And whether he meant to do it or not, whether he's going through mental anguish or not, that does not excuse his behavior. What kind of example is that setting to younger people that if you have enough money, or if you're in the right group, you can continually harass and assault people with impunity? It's a bullshit double standard. But I don't think this should be the end of him. Ezra Miller, Will Smith, Mel Gibson, they made mistakes. Some really big mistakes, but have we forgotten what it means to give someone grace? To forgive? To understand? Robert Downey Jr. was a fucking drugged up nutbag for a decade before he became Iron Man. He broke into people's houses, he got into fights, he was excommunicated from Hollywood, but he got a second chance and he turned his life around. If Twitter just piled on and buried RDJ back in 2005, we would have never gotten something as beautiful as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But for now, yes, Ezra needs to be held accountable and it's understandable to be very angry at him. It's up to him if these decisions will shape his life or if he'll turn it around. I'm not gonna say if he should be fired or not because it's not my place. But I just want WB to be consistent. Be consistent with who you fire, what statements you make, and how you run your company. Stop being slime balls and continuing to allow this shit show to happen. The next 10 years of DC cannot be like the last 10 years. So please, stop being shit. You're embarrassing yourselves. Okay? Thanks.